friends, my name is Tilly. For today's story time, I'm going to read you a book called The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. Let's get started. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me, oh my. But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days, safe from the snoopiest strangers, and on the scariest nights, it was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell. Until one day, your shell is weird. Suddenly, Terence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Terence searched high and low until, wowee! His new shell looks sleek. Eek! But it showed too much cheek. The search continued. Ooh la la! He looked classy, he looked sassy. He looked just like... Grandma Mildred! He looked for another shell. Oh yeah! He found it, a perfect polka dotty package. Pop! That was positively petrifying. Terence tried shell, after shell, after shell, after shell, but nothing fit. This whole situation stuck a lot. That's it. I give up. <laughs> Here you go. Scuttle, scuttle. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terence was too. Terence knew what he needed. But when he found his old shell, it had changed. Oh no. It's okay, we can fix it. Terence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. The end. Thanks for reading today's story with me, friends. I'll see you next time. <laughs>